Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's video. Bad A car. 70 Mustang Boss 302, real deal. Not a replica, not a reproduction, not a clone. Uh, the nice thing about it too is we have the Marty Report right here to back up the way that it rolled off the, uh, the assembly line. And this is kind of cool too. You know, this is a, a super popular color, grabber orange. A lot of people convert their Mustangs to grabber orange. Matter of fact, we sell a lot of cars that uh, sometimes have some color changes. This car rolled off the assembly line just like it sits right now. The only addition or maybe the incorrect part that might be on the car as we walk around it would be things like the radial tires. The radial tires obviously make the drive so much better. Uh, but what you trade for that is the authenticity of having the belted, uh, you know, kind of square shouldered, a white letter polyglass GTs or maybe the Firestone wide ovals. So uh, as we walk around, you know, this is at a lot of time. I have uh, probably a hundred pictures of the restoration um, and it's just been done. So we're sorting out the details of the car. It probably needs to be driven a little bit because it really hasn't been. It has maybe uh, 20 or 25 miles on it, uh, just you know, making sure everything worked and it ran well. The solid lifter camshaft sounds really good. Uh, the carb is working properly now, so uh, a lot of cool things. Shaker on there looks great. So uh, as I look through here, you know, obviously they came as, a, as original four speeds. I'm kind of reading off uh, the Marty Report. And the Marty Report, uh, I'd like to everybody to see. We also have a, a picture of that on the site. Anyway, come on up, let's take a picture of the paint quality. To see orange on red is a little difficult, but it's really just amazing uh, the nice job that they have done. I mean, it is mirror finish. You can read everything nice and crisp, probably see what time it is, uh, all that good stuff. So this is great paint here. It's got the right stripes. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the stripes. It was described to me as these stripes here being NOS stripes. When they were restoring the car, Jeff Ward did this car, he did a great job on it. It was around $2,000 just for the NOS Boss stripes that are put on the car. So he tried to make it as authentic as possible. Uh, and we have a couple last little things to do to it, but this is one really, really nice car that you can take to a car show um, and, uh, and really do well with. So, all right, so we'll keep walking around with it. Um, come on over here for a second. Little stuff that you can't see, all the suspension, uh, fuel lines, brake lines, so it gets all nicely detailed. You got the magnums on here. You got disc brakes inside, which look really good. Okay, body's nice and straight. They did a good job with panel fit, gaps, and things like that. The moldings have been replaced. All the chrome trim, everything inside the car is all new. Um, it just looks really, really nice. Let's take a peek under the hood to see the power plant. You know, this is the day and age of the Trans Am racing. And you had the Z28, you had this, you had the, uh, the, the Challenger TAs and the AR Cuda, stuff like that. And these cars here, you know, they were 302 cubic inches rated at 290 horsepower. The truth of the matter is with the solid lifter, the Ram Air, stuff like that, these were really closer to 350, 375 is what we hear. With today's modern rebuilds of engines, it's not uncommon to see 400 horsepower out of uh, these here without uh, any real look to see that it doesn't look stock inside. One of the things that we forget to ask about in these cars here is because we drive our modern daily car. Our modern daily car is an awesome piece of machinery too. Obviously not the same style, but for instance, like this car here that has power disc brakes. A lot of muscle cars don't have that. Power steering, fast ratio, because it's the Boss uh, 302 package. I and mean, it looks really just nicely done, authentic. This car really is supposedly a real uh, original 11,000 mile car. We have a, a sworn statement from the previous owner. Uh, stating that it's original, they've had it forever and ever and ever. The car just finished being restored. It really wasn't a basket case, it was just, uh, you know, an old car. And it really needed to be redone, so it's come out really nice. And uh, I don't know, I just think it's a great looking body style. So let's keep walking around the car for a minute if we could. Looks great in here, you got the uh, front spoilers here. And then as we go on back, not sure if the louvers are on there, they're added later. Uh, it's got the rear spoiler here, blacked out tail panel. Great sounding dual exhaust. And if you could, what I'd like to do is come on over here. Let's take a peek under here. Everything in here is new. The nine inch is detailed. The exhaust is all detailed. The suspension is detailed. Gas tank is new. Bolts, frame, all that stuff there, all detailed, painted, sanded, cleaned. And just everything looks really nice on this car. It's like getting kind of a new 1970 uh, Boss 302. There's just not a lot of those cars out there. Okay, what I did in the trunk is, I took out uh, a lot of the stuff, so come on up here and see. Uh, it's got the trunk bag, but I want you to see how detailed everything was. All the metal in here, stripped and painted. The new gas tank, look how detailed this is. You know, this is a fold down rear seat, so here's access to the back right there, which is kind of cool. 
This is painted inside here, which is nice. New emblems, stuff like that. This is nice. You know, Mustangs, uh, I think they did a nice job with the interiors. You know, whether, you like, whether you're a Camaro guy or whatever, it's hard not to really love uh, a Boss 302. It just really, really looks nice. Stock original shifter with the original Hurst handle that it was supposed to have. I think it looks great. Got the factory tack, eight grand tack. It's got 120 mile hour speedometer. It's got gauges instead of just lights. Original Philco AM radio. Everything in here is kind of done really nicely in the right way it's supposed to be. How about I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like? It's kind of cool. I hope you can hear like that solid lifter camshaft clack it away under the hood. I love that sound. It's just like a Z28. I love that sound. All right, this is the way you want to buy a car. You know, you want to buy a car that's really authentic looking. It's got the real 302 motor in it. Don't forget too, we're talking about a, a super rare car. We're talking about one of only 832 built. Uh, how many are left on the planet? Maybe half? Uh, you're in rare, rare company. And uh, this one here being uh, authenticated by the Marty Report and all the goodies that go with it, it's a pretty cool piece. If you're only gonna have one muscle car or, or 10, like you've got to think about this car for your collection. Great looking paint disc brakes, power disc brakes, power steering, uh, and all the things that make it for a great driving car. When you roll down the street in this car, even though it's amongst another great cars in here, when it's out on its own driving down the street, and it's just, uh, people go crazy over it. Anyway, if you can find a way to get a Boss 302 in your life, call us 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.